This is part two of the Vonk Nodes Fusion Breakdown. If you haven't watched part one, highly recommend it. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So let me get the Jason points on a circle. It doesn't exactly give me a circle. It gives me a triangle at first and I can change the radius, the amount of segments, and eventually we can get a circle. Then you can use the camera to rotate around the circle, make some cool effects with that. There is VJSON points on a cube. And just like the points on a circle node, you can change the number of X, Y, and Z coordinates to make a cube. And then if I turn off the dots that are shown, now it's just lines. We have this really trippy effect and we are inside of a cube right now that looks pretty cool next we have the v jason points on a grid let me reset my camera just like the cube you have to turn up the number x y and z so now there's a 3d grid and this sort of just looks cool and trippy you can make some cool effects with this jason points on a rectangle this creates a rectangle for you change the width the height how many segments are on it but that's cool V Jason points on a sphere. I think this is the first one we went over. Yeah. So you have the Fibonacci sphere, which makes these really cool looking lines. It's the size of it. And you can trim the top or the bottom of the sphere and random distance will make a uh, less unified distance between all the points in the sphere. And then there's custom sphere where you can really make everything janky and weird. You can change the randomization of it. And you can even change the distribution of how all the points go on it. So let's create a nice effect here. So it says the amount of points is 100. We're going to do the VJSON count element. And if I preview this node, it will show this little text. It's actually counting how many points are in this sphere right here. If I keyframe at the start, make it zero, make it 100. We'll have this cool building effect right here but I can take a text node and put an expression in the text node and I can link that. And if I preview this node, it says vjson count element one dot output. That's what I type into the text node. So V and now I have the number of points. So now I have a nice hundred. And this is how I made one of the cooler effects in one of my experimental edits. Here's another effect I did where I composited the vjson points on a sphere node with the background of this anime footage. So we went from this to this that's quite a huge change there's another example i made where i took the vjson generate sphere node and i positioned it nicely so the camera sort of clips into the sphere and it makes these weird lines that come out of it because it's trying to render the sphere and it makes these cool abstract lines coming out of it and in order to make this node look good with some post effects this whole part right here we trees crt macro and the crt it gives you this nice cool retro style vhs looking so this effect i made here is a little bit more advanced but it's relatively the same steps i just have a bunch of vhs and crt macros points on a sphere put that into a camera and i put the perlin noise modifier on points on a sphere and it made this cool little effect and then i took the uh, vjson generate spirals a noise modifier onto the spirals and then i combined the two together put dream glow on it and i also added rays to it and then color correction to the rays to give it red fall off it all comes together to make this really cool looking effect and all this took relatively i want to say 20 10 minutes so it does it wouldn't take too long to make cool motion graphics like this so that concludes part two of the vonk ultra nodes in the next one we're going to be going over the vonk mograph set and some more cool things that you can do with this data set